Hey everybody, uh, we've got a fun one today. Got a digital projection EV7000. Uh, this is a very high-end projector. And currently, this one is here because it had some uh, aftermarket lamps made by a uh, another company who didn't put a good lens on it. And what happened was the lens started to get hot. You can't really see it. It's hard to tell here. But the coating actually kind of melted off. And when the lamp was shining inside, or both lamps, it cooked a uh, cold mirror inside. A uh, cold mirror is a special piece of glass that allows certain uh, wavelengths through the infrared wavelengths and reflects the visible light into the projector. That way it doesn't send the infrared light inside and heat up all the optics. And I guess in this case, the lens just let too much of that IR into the cold mirror and it burned it up. You'll see the, uh, the guy that sent it in actually had to put tape on the cold mirror to hold it together so I could make sure I could measure it to get the right one. So first thing we're going to do is get the uh, top off. I've had this open. Uh, so actually, I'm going to leave these four screws in because I took the lamps out. I'm just going to take the top off first. So we're going to take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten screws out of the. Now this projector, it's actually based off an NEC and P forty one hundred, I believe. Then, I'm just going to get this loose. There's a uh, wire. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really not in frame. Right here, it just unplugs. There's a uh, clip right here. So you can slide the wire out, but to put it back in, you have to do that. You can see this a little better. The uh, captain tape just keeps the wire from moving. This uh, connector, so uh, you just slide it in and then you'd lock it down and then push the tape back down. This is the uh, lamp access door switch. We're just going to leave this whole thing as it is until it's time to test it. So for now, I'm going to put this on inside. The this is where the lamps go. Give you a little better view here. The uh, lamps go in here. That's the color wheel. It's a uh, four segment, as the sticker says. Um, we have to get inside here. Let me see if I can get you guys a view of it. There it is. You see that um, right in there? There's tape on it, so it's not as shiny as it should be, but you can see the crack. The uh, lamps shine that way and this way into that mirror it's um you know at a right angle so when the light goes in it reflects it that way so it goes in there and then the optics are in here and it goes for the color wheel and dlp stuff and then there's a the lens under there so this is what's damaged right here that's what needs to come out so we have to get down to there so let's start. We're going to take this frame off first. All right, that should release this. There we go. Now we're getting a little closer to getting this thing out and this thing out. So next is this larger frame. And then we'll start disconnecting wires. All right. So now, oh, that's loose. Disconnect this wire, front IR. Get that out of the way. There we go. Now this frame's out. 
Okay, so now we need to get into here. This black plastic has to come out. And uh, looking at information online, looks like this top piece has to slide forward a little bit, and then it'll lift up. That means all these wires have to be disconnected. So the thermal cutouts, they're going to be unhooked. here ballast it looks like ballast control Oops. and then this main power maybe Actually, this might be high voltage over to here. I'll bet that's what that is. Looking at the wire, at white wire. No, oh, speaker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the uh, for the lamp. Yep that down there out of the way and then these wires over here what do we have Ooh. these little connectors you have to be careful these will pull the wires out if you're not careful I can see these are loose See, these are not in all the way. Is that bent? It almost looks like this was pulled out before. The, uh, the little barbs in the connector were bent out. To take, an eye, take a closer look at this one when I put it back together. But when I pull these out, I always try to grab it on the other on the either side instead of holding it by the wire some connectors you can pull out if you grab all the wires and are careful about it but these tend to pull out which makes me wonder if somebody else did that on this one all right and then we have some fans let's see is this free shove it down so it's out of the way. Well, that's one way to do it. Let's, uh, let's get that out. And I'm going to put that back in so we don't misplace it. Alright, these fan wires are now loose and ready to slide out as well. So now should be able to pop these two screws out. Oh, then these two. So it just slides forward a little bit and now it'll lift up. And then I'm going to feed door switch wires in and then we'll move this top plate out of the way. You can see they have the uh, temperature sensors there for monitoring the lamp heat. If the lamp heat gets too high, these will open and just kill power. It's kind of cool. All right, 
right, so the next place we have to get is in here. Put off. In fact, I'm going to park a screw right here that I'll use to hold this back in place. So once those are all out, you may have to just kind of get a flathead and get in between the seam. Just give it a little... Well, actually, make sure you get all the screws out. There we go. And I just saw it move, so I guess it's not stuck. Sometimes these stick. Yeah, that's loose. Just give it a little wiggle. If it does that, you're fine. Go straight up, because these lenses are what I'm worried about getting damaged. We're going to take out the screw that holds the spring, that holds the cold mirror. Now, we have the spring. Wow. Look how melt or hot that got. That's from the UV or the IR shining through this. And you can see here, he's got some, uh, owner had some tape. They wrapped it in uh, scotch tape, it looks like, just to kind of hold all these pieces together. That must have been a fun puzzle. Let's see if I can... Looks like that one goes here, yeah. So that's what's left of it. You can see it got hot. And you can see the glass, or this might even be quartz, got so hot that it started to melt round it out here instead of just cracking. So there's a, a mirror coating here and then a mirror coating here. And this whole piece is what has to be replaced. That cover back in. And I'm going to put that one screw in that I parked to just kind of hold this all in place. Keep dust and debris away from the lenses. And then what we'll do, as soon as I uh, get the new one in, it should be here in a couple days, maybe a week, uh, we'll resume the video for a part two and we'll put it back together and see how it all works.